You good, Randy? Oh yeah, look! <laughs> Randy's building is fine! Oh! Oh, it's about to not be fine though! God damn it, Randy! I told you that place was cursed! Oh god, there goes Randy. I think he's dead. I think Randy's dead. Randy? Randy! I think his shop's gonna be closed for good this time. <laughs> Bye, Randy. We all love ya. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Zumpa, and this is City Skyline. So, in the previous episode, a curious scent engulfed the city of Dinkelberg. That's right, guys. A curious scent, you may ask. Yes, a curious scent. I think I smell it now. It's becoming stronger. <laughs> I'm gonna pass out. Holy shit. Is this what dogs feel like? Oh. <laughs> Always smelling stuff. That was it. Yeah, okay. Anyways, guys, I smelled a curious smell uh, in the city of Dinkelberg in the previous episode and right now. Do you know what that is? No. It is not the overflowing sewage. No! It is not the disgusting foundry district area with all this smoggy shit. And no! It is not my own ass. And also, no! It is not my upper lip, you cheeky little bastards! I swear! <laughs> so, what could it be then? Well, my friends, I do believe it could be one thing. It is the smell <laughs> of success, motherfuckers. Ginkaberg is doing a fabulous job in the world and stuff. And you can thank, uh, basically, you can thank me for that, guys. So, anyways, Dinkelberg's doing fabulously in uh, in this in the city skylines world. And look at this stuff. We got stuff going and shit. We got maybe a sick person here. That might be a dead person. I don't really know. No difference to me. They're useless in the eyes of. Me. <laughs> in the previous episode, we began an unstoppable momentum of success, okay? Things were going great. I haven't had anything bad happen, really, knock on wood, really fucking hard, okay? I'm not a superstitious person, aside from that single superstition. I do wholeheartedly believe that knocking on wood has a profound effect on the future. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I don't really know where I was going with that. Uh, in the previous episode, we did a lot of good stuff in the city of Dinkelberg. Things happened, we did some, you know, Good stuff, guys. I'm great at talking. I apologize. In this episode, though, I would like to clamp my greedy and clammy hands down even tighter on the loins of Dinkelberg, if you know what I'm saying. I once called myself a supreme totalitarian dictator, but uh, that handle no longer fits me because I've become soft. I've become a, a democratic man, all right? I believe in democracy now. I believe in freedoms. But guess what? Freedom is slavery, motherfucker. As I was originally taught by my, uh... Okay, the shit is leaking everywhere. What what happened? Oh, shit. <laughs> That's what happened. Stupid-ass lightning strike tried to destroy my power poles. Guys, well, I show you, stupid-ass lightning strike. I'm still having a sewage problem. No, we're good. We're good, okay. As I was saying, I think I may have gotten a little bit soft on the people of Dinkelberg in the, in the last couple episodes. Maybe it's because I've become so successful, I've just gotten more relaxed, you know, I'm not so angry and full of hatred now. But I see it as an extreme sign of weakness. So what I'm gonna start doing is building governmental buildings, uh, surveillance buildings mainly, and I'm gonna start policing everything my people do. And if anybody gets out of line, ooh, let me tell you, let me tell you the hand of Big Brother's gonna come down like a giant hand of a man who's gonna slap you, okay? That's right, that sounds horrible, so. They wouldn't want that. I'm gonna start policing everything from their online habits, their internet histories and shit, to their thoughts. That's right, thought police are coming to Dinkelberg. Guys, that's right. I need to start putting up some propaganda before the revolution happens and shit. <laughs> the people of Dinkelberg cannot have freedom. Android and gynoid robot models, no. None of that shit. No free market blasphemy, you idiots. Buy the only brand of stuff that I choose to sell in Dinkelberg and be happy, okay? And go work in the mills and whatnot. Go in the labor camps. Oh my god, something else burned down over here. Stuff's always burning down in Dinkelberg. Anyways, guys, I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's just try to make my city not fucking fail, okay? I don't want to get ahead of myself with all this communist bullshit. <laughs> I have even demand of everything, which I think is good. And, um... Yeah, I just, I, I'll just let time go by for a little while and see what happens, maybe. I'm gaining money, I haven't taken out a single loan yet. I'm very proud of myself for not doing so. Let's check out my policies. Maybe I have some new policies that I can, uh, that I can enact. City policies, no, no, don't have any of those. How many people do we have? 3,000, almost 3,500, that's pretty good. When's my next milestone? Busy town, 5,000. I'm nowhere close. I need to get more people in Dinkelberg, damn it. More people to control. <laughs> More people for me to slap with my big heavy hand. I think everything is going well in Dinkelberg. We have a cemetery 
that's piling up. Deceased stored, 349 out of 3,000. <laughs> Hearses in use, too. So two people are currently dead right now on their way to be stored in the uh, in the cemetery right next to the landfill. That's pretty cool. We also have a shit ton of trash in my, uh, in my landfill. And there's also a lot here. What do I do when both of my landfills get totally full? Do I have to build more? How many landfills do I need? Jesus! This is insane! Before too long, I'm gonna have to start reversing roles and putting my damn trash in the cemetery! Like I said, the opposite in the last episode. I was gonna start putting the dead people in the, uh, in the landfill. Which was a great idea, by the way, and I still stand behind it 100%. If you don't like it, you're an idiot! You're one of those ethical people! That's bullshit! Oh my god, this giant building is abandoned? Busy corner shop. Oh, it's a shop. Okay, I don't care. As long as there's no people living in it, I don't really care. See ya, busy corner shop. It's an ironic name for an abandoned building. <laughs> Fucking stupid idiots. I'm just keeping my eagle eyes on Dinkelberg here, trying to see if I need to update anything or add anything or upgrade anything or, um, I'm not really sure. I need more industry, it looks like, so I'll add some industry over here. Oh my god, my trash is filling again. Shit! You guys are stupid! I suppose I can build a little dirt road over here and then add another landfill, maybe? That was probably a good idea, because this one's full already, and this one's like right in a terrible area. So go ahead and empty this one, and uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to delete this one. I don't want to make it really dirty, though. I'm pretty sure when you destroy a landfill, just trash goes everywhere, which would make sense. Just put a bomb inside it. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's old clothes and a bunch of dirty diapers just go flying all over the town. <laughs> I don't think that's the smell of success, guys. That's the smell of our old shit. Oh my god, look at the sheer amount of traffic right here. Wait, wait, there's a policeman right there. What the hell's the policeman doing? First, let's look at all these garbage trucks on this little tiny dirt road. <laughs> Maybe I should upgrade it or something. There's a bunch of people. And then we have this police chase going on. Police car chasing... This person, maybe? Are they chasing somebody or what? Responding to call at elementary school. We gotta follow this guy and see what's going on at the elementary school. Tragedy has stricken the elementary school at Dinkelberg. Drive, Mr. Policeman, drive. Don't worry about the red lights. I'm the mayor. I'm the king. Don't worry about the red lights, Mr. Dinkelberg. Oh, what happened? That was really fast. He must have arrested somebody at the, uh, at the elementary school. A little 10-year-old wise guy was probably causing a bunch of ruckus at the elementary school, so the popo had to come in and suck him up and put him in jail for being a revolutionist and one of them freedom idiots. Do not express yourself, little Billy. All right, not in my classroom, you little bastard. I just turned Scottish. Okay, anyways, we got some sick folks right here, guys, and I don't know why. Every time I destroy these houses and then they build back up, more sickness. Are they built on an Indian burial ground or some shit like that? I don't know, and we'll probably never find out. Pretty sure this guy just died, though. I'm not really sure. I went ahead and upgraded my little dirt road because my landfills aren't working very well. People are still having their trash pile up, but I don't know, I don't really know why. We pretty much just need a bunch of industry right now. I guess I can build that. That is something that I can do, my friends. I'll put some industry right there and right there. That should be enough to satisfy the needs of the town. Buy new land. Okay, I get it. There's land available. What do you want me to do about it? You want me to buy some land? I'll buy it. $3,000? That's pretty cheap, actually. <laughs> should I buy the land? I don't even know. Is land useful? I don't really need it at all, so probably not. Look at all the shit down here. <laughs> I'm not buying that! Jesus! The foreigners can have that land! I do not want the peninsula of Dinkelberg. It's a lot of shit in that water down there, guys. <laughs> oh my god. I saw it last time and it looked pretty bad, but I had no idea it looked like that. Jesus! I think I'm gonna start expanding my residential stuff this way a little bit more instead of just going down because this area over here is really nice and I've, I eventually want to be able to have some like really nice houses along the water where some rich people can hang out. You know, obviously it's not gonna be a poor neighborhood. I'm not gonna have poor people living near things like water, things that are valuable and can bring me money and resources. <laughs> Crazy? The poor people can live in the fucking smoggy shit, all right? You guys can go hang out by the busy corner shop. <laughs> that old abandoned building that I just destroyed. You can hang out by its remnants. The hell is this thing? <laughs> is that a house? Jesus, that's a nice house. Look at how nice my uh, my houses are becoming now. Oh my god, look at this house. This dude has a straight up mansion in the middle of town, back to back with another of the exact same house. And look, it's even got an, a tiny house within the, the house or something. What, what is that? How do I even explain that? <laughs> and there's 13 educated people living there and four uneducated. Oh my God. I think they may be harboring fugitives. Those four uneducated people are really concerning. Get them out of my city. All right. They're dirty. I can't believe people aren't bitching about healthcare yet. I think they may have in the last episode, but oh, average health, negative 63%. <sighs> 
That's not very good. Six citizens, 145. I should probably build a medical clinic before things get out of hand. I think that's a good idea. I'll build one right here near the rich people, so that'll be good. That'll be excellent, yes. <laughs> My garbage is piling up again. I have three landfills that are emitting some weird, noxious looking shit, so I don't wanna build any more of these damn things. Maybe this one is emptying. That's why it's not working, because it's emptying still. I gotta quit emptying them. There we go. Your garbage is overflowing, buddy. Oh no shit, really? I had no fucking idea. Whoa! What the hell was that thing? That's no known jet of earth. It was a goddamn UFO right there. And it made a weird whistling noise. <laughs> so, I'm an alien. Oh, anyways, that's weird. That's what I'm gonna use my surveillance for. Searching for UFOs. <laughs> I'll be the most paranoid totalitarian dictator of all time. And that's saying quite a bit because that's a common theme among totalitarian dictators. They're usually kind of paranoid. I'm not really sure why, but the building that grows in this spot always needs to be destroyed because it becomes abandoned after a while. I think I've destroyed it twice already in this episode and then countless times in the last episode. <laughs> it must be cursed. It's like a little zit or something, like a little zit that keeps popping up in Dinkelberg. Maybe I should get rid of it. <laughs> it's a cursed building. Anyways, guys, Dinkelberg is doing disturbingly well and I'm happy with it. How about the sick people? Oh my God, there's only 20 sick people left. Average health, 80%. Dinkelberg is no longer an unhealthy place. It looks like I need more water and sewage treatment soon, so I'll go ahead and preemptively build those as well. Add another poop station right there. Excellent, guys, that's perfect. I think we're good on water and shit now for a while. <laughs> We got two times the poop flowing out of Dinkelberg. I hope this whole area right here just gets covered with dookie. I like it. I like it. It makes me very happy for some reason. Oh my god, look at this fire that just burned. Why are there continuously just fires that burn? Burning down all my useful timber and stuff. I hate this game. Quit burning down all my shit, damn it. See, I told you guys. Look at this thing. It's dead again. Why does that keep happening? <laughs> Stop it, you stupid building. Quit trying to pop up right there. And then becoming abandoned, you moron. That'd be so funny if it was just the same guy who owned the property and kept trying different business ventures and then failing. And then I just come in and slap his building down and then he abandons it, tries again. Cause look, look, it's a little gas station again. Soon it'll be that big zit building and I'll have to destroy it. Just stop. How about this? How about this? There you go. That'll help you. That'll help you. <laughs> You'll thank me in the future, buddy. Really? Really, already? Really? Please don't be the same building. Same building. There you go. You'll thank me again in the future. I wonder how my education is looking right now. 300 people eligible, and my schools are at full capacity. Now, I would normally say education, smeducation, um, because I believe it's overrated, and I think that uh, dumb people are the cream of the crop, really, of Dinkelberg, okay? <laughs> I'm just kidding, obviously. We need smart people. We need only smart people people brainwashed by propaganda. I mean, free thinkers, okay? In Dinkelberg, that's what I want. I'll put a school right here, how about that? That'll satisfy those goons. Oh my God, look at this. Randy sprouted up another shop yet again. Stop it, Randy! And look, he just upgraded it to the big zit version. I'll have to destroy it soon, Randy. I'll have to destroy it soon. I'll give you a little bit of a chance this time, buddy. I'll give you a little bit of a chance this time. Can you guys even believe how well Dinkelberg is doing right now? $1,500 a minute or whatever this is a week. I don't know. It's not a real week. I know that much. <laughs> and I have $26,000, almost 5,000 people, and my city's expanding like a tumor. So it's great, guys. Things are going very well. I'm blown away by the amount of success I've achieved in this episode. In the last episode. Now I just have to wait till I get 5,000 people and then I'll tear it all down with a tornado or something. Like normal. Oh, look at that, guys. I was looking at my phone and I got busy town. Hell yeah, I knew it would happen soon. I also heard something explode, so that's not good. I'm the proudest I've ever been of my city and I'm starting to prove myself as a leader. Now I must crescent thy success. WITH DESTRUCTION! So, <laughs> I think I want to do a gigantic sinkhole right in the middle of the city. No, not in the middle. How about right there? Okay, a giant sinkhole. And then, I want a massive uh, meteor to smash into the giant sinkhole. So this is gonna be great. This is gonna be a one of a kind experience. <laughs> Geologists predict Here we go. Sinkhole, sinkhole, sinkhole number one. Take precautionary measures. And there it is. There it is. Oh, oh my God. The meteor is coming in a little bit sooner than I was expecting. Oh no, guys. Oh, hold on a second. 
Hold on a second. Engorged meteor penetrates gaping sinkhole? What? Sinkhole oh my god. Stay out of harm's way and contact authorities with any information. I survived. A I'm fine. I'm fine. Meteor strike has occurred. Oh! Oh, look at that! <laughs> Which one's which? The engorged meteor devastated the gaping sinkhole, guys. Was it a sex thing? Anyways, that's been Dinkelberg for you. Uh, it's raining. My entire city is gone. I wonder if the elementary school is there. No, I believe the elementary school was here. I wonder how Randy's building's doing. You good, Randy? Oh, yeah, look. <laughs> Randy's building is fine. Oh! Oh, it's about to not be fine, though. I'm sorry, Randy. I'm so sorry. God damn it, Randy. I told you that place was cursed. Oh, God. There goes Randy. I think he's dead. I think Randy's dead. Randy? Randy? I think his shop's gonna be closed for good this time. <laughs> Bye, Randy. We all love ya. Anyways, guys, thank you all for watching this episode of City Skylines. It was a very successful episode. Perhaps the most successful episode yet, but it won't be the most successful episode because next time my success will double knee triple all right bitches so thank you all for watching this episode of city skylines i really hope you guys enjoyed if you did leave a like down below and subscribe if you've not already and i will see you in the next episode when i put my engorged meteor inside your sinkhole <laughs> <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> dinkleberg more like stinkleberg <laughs>